What's up, Milo? What is going on, guys? Back again for another Waterfowl Wednesday. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about choke tubes because I've been getting a lot of questions about choke tubes and what to use. You need attention? Is that what you want? I'm going to go on a little sidetrack here. I don't think I've ever talked to you guys about Milo. Um, we're able to have Milo because she's Amanda's dog. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty chill. No duck dog yet, but we'll get there eventually. Maybe after I graduate. We got Milo though. So choke tubes, there's some stuff that you need to know about them. I mean, they're really not as complicated as you might think and as complicated as some people make them out to be. And for those of you who don't know, I'm gonna make it really simple. So a choke tube is basically, it constricts the end of your barrel to either tighten the shot spread or make it wider. So you have choices that you can use to determine how big of a spread you want at about 40 yards. Generally speaking, choke tubes are patterned at 40 yards to kind of get an idea of how wide your spread is and how many pellets are in like a 30 inch circle at 40 yards. So taking that and putting it into actual duck hunting terms for you guys so then it makes sense to you and you know what choke tube to use. Uh, it depends on the person and the shooter and the situation that you're gonna be shooting. If you're shooting super close range, you're gonna want to use an improved cylinder. But that's just generally speaking, if you're not that great of a shot and it's, you're starting out getting into duck hunting, go ahead and use the improved cylinder. Your spread's gonna be wider at a closer range so you have a better chance of hitting the bird. But if you're not as much of a beginner and you've shot birds before and you've duck hunted a lot, you generally have a choke tube that you use most of the time. And for me, that would be a modified choke. This is a kicked high flyer. I patterned it in another video with double Bs. Um, I might end up doing that again with some duck loads to see about that and see if there's different shells that pattern better out of this gun. But in that video, I found out that the Benelli choke that came with my gun, one of these, it patterned better than this one did. Anyways, my favorite choke tube to use in all situations all last year, except for a couple of times, I was shooting the modified choke. And I was finishing ducks at 15 to 30 yards. You know, that's that's my go-to choke tube is a modified choke. But for some people like Lucas, he shoots a full choke every single day of the week, no matter what, he's only shooting a full choke. Doves, ducks, geese, whatever, he's shooting full choke. Me, I'm shooting my modified. And that's just coming down to personal preference. I could probably shoot a full choke and get used to it and nail birds left and right, but I prefer using the modified choke. So for those of you guys who are getting into duck hunting and just trying to figure out what choke tube to use, because I'm getting a lot of questions from you guys talking about choke tubes and what to use, let me make it simple. If you're finishing them within 20 yards, 20 to 25 yards, go ahead and use an improved, improved modified or modified choke. And so that'll give you a good chance of hitting the birds and it really just comes down to how good of a shot you are. If you know that you're not that great of a shot and you need practice, Go ahead and open up your spread a little bit by getting that modified or the improved cylinder choke in there. And then once you get a little bit better at shooting, you can tighten up your spread with a modified choke and then you'll be able to hit those birds a little bit better with more pellets and knock them down and kill them really easily. The farther shot that you're taking, you're going to want to have a tighter spread. So then it stays tighter at a longer distance and you put more pellets on the bird. So if you're finishing close, you might want to open it up a little bit so you're not putting a hole through them that big, you know? But, you know, it, it just it just really comes down to your personal preference and how you like to shoot and the situation that you're hunting. That's a, as simple as I can make it. I, I'm not really sure why some people like to make it more complicated than it actually is. You can look at it two ways. Either you shoot the favorite choke that you have, the one that you have the most success with most of the time, or you shoot a choke depending on the distance that you're shooting the birds at. For me, modified choke is my go-to and I've killed birds within 10 yards and I've killed them at 40 yards. So it really doesn't matter to me because I'm shooting over decoys, I'm not pass shooting. Some people say that full chokes are for pass shooting and sky busting and everything. I know plenty of people that shoot a full choke at decoying birds. So, you know, it. once again, it just comes down to your personal preference, just like what gun you shoot, that's your personal preference and it's the one that fits you the best. And whatever choke tube gives you the best shooting average that you have, shoot it. And then the question comes down to, do I need to buy an extended choke tube or do I stick with the ones that came with my gun? 
and that's completely up to you. I'm not an expert by any means. I knew Luke shot a kicks high flyer and he said he liked it a lot and Lane did too. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll get a kicks high flyer and see it and uh, give it a try. And the main reason why I bought the extended choke tube is because when you're duck hunting, you can get water in your gun and it's easier to get a seized choke out if it is extending out of the end of the gun. That's like the main reason why I got the kicks high flyer is because it's out of the end of the barrel of the gun, unlike this one to where it's flush with the end of the barrel. So I can't get like vice grips and put it on this choke, but I can get vice grips and put it on this choke and really crank on it to get it out if it does get seized up or rusted in there or just somehow cross threaded or anything along those lines to where I'm not able to get the choke tube out. It's easier for me to get the extended choke tube out than to get the one that's flush with the end of the barrel. That's about as simple as I can make it. I feel like I just babbled and said the same thing like 10 times, but it's really not that complicated if you take your time and think about it like how tight do I want my spread to be, how good of a shot am I, and how far away are the birds that I'm shooting. So those are the three main things to figure out and most people figure out what choke tube works the best for them and you stick with it. So for me, I've always shot a modified and I played around with a full choke a little bit and I couldn't shoot birds as great so I stuck with the modified and I've killed geese, ducks, doves. It's really doesn't make a difference to me. I can hit birds with the modified choke so that's what I do. I just work with what I got and do what works best for me. If you want to follow me on my social media it's up here. I've been using Facebook a lot more so if you guys have a Facebook go ahead and go like my page because I've been posting some video clips for you guys and just some stuff to where you're scrolling through your Facebook when you're in bed or doing whatever you can see a quick snippet of a duck hunt or whatever so I've been using that a lot more and I hope you guys give it a shot and try it out and see if you like the Facebook. I, it's starting to grow on me a little bit so Go ahead and follow me on there. If you want to pick up one of these hats or some other merch for the channel, go over to MallyWackerOutfitters.com and pick some up. That is all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.